55. Oh, I was so mad at Bully Bob today. Even before school started, he was making ugly faces at Miss Locken. His name is Bob Walker, but we call him Bully Bob, because he even tries to bully Miss Locken, who's the sweetest person on earth. The best part about Briar Row School is that I get to see Miss Locken every day. Our teacher often says, don't be scared to share a smile, it won't cost you a cent. There are only 16 kids in the whole school and every one of them is pretty nice. Well, except for one. Of course, I'm talking about Bully Bob and he's a bad egg. We sing O Canada and then we recite the Lord's Prayer. After that, we get to work. 1955 is the year to celebrate Saskatchewan's Golden Jubilee. That means it's been a province for 50 years. I still can't believe I won first prize for my salt and flour map for Canada. Miss Locken said it was good, but I didn't know it was that good. Briar Rose is a one-room school, so we know all the stories from each grade, starting with Dick and Jane in grade one. It's fun to listen to our little brothers and sisters learn to read. I know the schools in town are fancier, but I'd rather be a farm girl going to a country school. Miss Locken is a really good teacher. She says the Rocky Mountains are gigantic. There's a song on the radio called In the Blue Canadian Rockies. Nick and I have a dream to go see them someday. Saskatchewan's special flower is called the Western Lily. We just call them tiger lilies and we aren't allowed to pick them because they're scarce. This is big sky country. The puffy white clouds turn into crazy shapes, like a lion, a bird, or a dragon. Sometimes we see the northern lights dancing in the night sky. The pink and green and purple colors take your breath away. Best of all is a prairie sunset. If you've never seen one, I feel sorry for you. Our teacher reads books to us by Thornton W. Burgess. That's what makes us love wild animals. Dad told our brother Roy to shoot the porcupine who gave our dog Skipper a face full of quills. Nick asked Dad, why do you hate wild animals so much? Dad said, I don't hate them, but if they cause trouble on my farm, they're goners. Old Queenie is our buggy horse, and she takes us to school. She stands with the other horses in the school barn all day long. I wonder what Queenie thought the day Bully Bob looked three little boys in the barn and wouldn't let them out. Miss Locken phoned Bud Turner, the chairman of the school board. That's the day Bob Walker got kicked out of the school for good. Mr. Turner said, the bullying in the school is over. I'll never forget the day Miss Locken leaned over my map and made nice big dot on the place where Briar Row School is located in Saskatchewan. When I saw her do that, I thought, that's me. I'm just a little dot in the big country of Canada. But there's a special place right here for me. Everyone is important and no one is better or worse than anyone else. I need to remember that. I'm calling it Lesson 1 in my diary. I wrote it in my best handwriting. Lesson 1. I'm just a dot on the prairie. Today I'm going to read more of my diary. Sorry, but it's the saddest part. I will never forget June 27th, 1955. Miss Locken dismissed us from school at 3.30 and my brothers and I piled into the buggy. Our horse Queenie was in a hurry to take us home. My brother, Will, saw the police car first, parked on the side of the road. He stood right up on the buggy and yelled, Holy cow, did someone get shot? We'd never seen a police car on our road before. At the house, my aunt told me my mom had died and she would never be coming back. It was a long, hot summer. Dad wouldn't talk very much. We were used to doing chores, but everything was harder now without Mom. I tried to help Nick and Mac. We were all kind of lost, and we tried to hide our tears. I kept wondering, why did Mom die? What happened? The housekeepers didn't work out. Aunt Min was dreadful. Mrs. Wheeler worked hard, but we were too much for her. One day, a lady named Liz moved in. Our life got a lot better in a hurry. Liz was so much fun and she had a big laugh. Liz taught me how to bake. We made puffed wheat cake and rickety uncles. She often said, I'll tell you what, Dot. And then she'd tell me something she wanted me to know. One day she said, I'll tell you what, Dot. If you see a mouse in the house, grab it quick by the tail and fry it up for breakfast. Liz loved her own jokes. Liz taught us to sew on buttons. And she believed every kid needed to know their directions, north, east, south, and west. Liz said Briarville School is to the north of our house. 
Liz worked really hard. Besides cleaning, cooking, churning butter, and washing clothes, she knit mitts and socks for us all. She was a whiz at the sewing machine. She made good school lunches for us. Liz baked the best birthday cakes too. She even put money in the cake. She let my little brothers help bake too. I often asked Liz questions before we went to sleep. One night I asked, Liz, do you know how my mom died? She said, no, honey girl, I never heard a word. I also asked her, how did you hear about us? She told me about the advertisement Dad had put in the Family Herald. Wanted, a housekeeper for five children, ages three to 14. Liz said, I'll tell you what, Dot. When I read that ad, I said to myself, I'm going to get that job and make those kids laugh again. I could talk to Liz about anything. She told me laughing and crying are both part of life. I can talk to Miss Lockin about anything, too. She says it's good to have fun and to laugh. And she says tears are okay, too, because we need a little of both. So there's another lesson for me to remember. I learned that tears are okay. I'm calling that lesson two in my diary. Here it is. Lesson two. Tears are okay. The craziest thing happened. I'm going to read all about it in my diary. Dear diary, no one will tell me what happened to mom. I'm getting very suspicious of my dad, but I don't know for sure. We had a scary three-day blizzard in December. Miss Lockin says it will go down in history as one of Saskatchewan's worst storms, the blizzard of 55. She told us, you won't forget about it, and you will tell your children about it someday. As the storm howled and whistled around the corners of the house, we were snug inside. We hoped the animals were surviving in the barn. The radio sent out warnings. If you are safe and warm, stay where you are. Do not go on the roads. This storm is vicious. Christmas was just around the corner. We were all happier with Liz in the house. She helped us with her Friday spelling words. She said comical things that made it fun. The spelling word is courage. Your dad showed his courage when he rode a pig. I heard Roy come into the house and ask Liz, What time is it? Liz said, Half past kissing time, time to kiss again. Roy just shook his head. Roy was in a play called Heck Says It. It was the best thing in the whole Christmas concert. That was the night my brother Roy won the community friendship quilt. And then, guess what? He gave it to me! On Christmas Day, we played games and had banana cream pie. Dad was really nice for a change. Liz beat everyone in Crokinole. She even called Dad a loser. Just after New Year's, everything fell apart. Liz got sick and they took her away. Us kids were stuck alone again with Dad yelling at us. There's no fun anymore. Us kids fight a lot. And now for the craziest thing that ever happened in the world. It was a big, stupid surprise. Dad shows up with a red-haired woman. He stared at us and said, This is Maggie. We got married. Roy says Dad is nuts. I don't like Maggie one bit. We got through the winter. Now the garden is a lot of work. I even asked Maggie if she knew what happened to my mom. She said no, but I think she's lying. Liz often said nice things about us. After the Christmas concert, she said, Did you Cleaver kids ever shine tonight? Mom was proud we were good at running. She said we could run like the wind. Maggie never says anything good about us. Maggie did one nice thing. She took me to see Liz in the Saskatchewan hospital. Some people call it the mental. Liz said she's getting better. She asked all about our family. She asked about school and if I am using the recipe book she made for me. She even asked if Dad is happier now. She said she had felt sorry for him because he was so sad. She got really bossy with me when I told her I still hate my dad. She said, I can't hate him anymore because it's only hurting me. Liz says loving is always better than hating. I know in my heart she's right about that. So here's my lesson number three. Love is better than hate. P.S. Maggie is going to have a baby. Dear diary, I'm sick of the wind. It's hot and dry and it blows every day, all day long. 
I get up early in the morning before the wind gets up so I can have a few minutes of peace. Maggie says, you can't change the wind. She's right about that, and there are dozens of other things I can't change either. I can't change that Dad married Maggie. I can't change that Liz got sick and left us. And I can't change that Mom died. Liz told me not to worry so much about the things I can't change. She said I should be thankful for all the good things I would never want to change. So here's my list of good things. I love to read. Here are my favorite books. The Secret Garden, Black Beauty, The Adventures of Jimmy Skunk, and Anne of Green Gables. And I love Barrow School and Miss Lockin. And I have some pretty good friends there too. My brothers can be pests, but I think I'm going to keep them. Roy is a really good big brother. He stays home from school to help Dad, especially in harvest time. Mostly he has to drive the tractor. Dad and I are getting along better. And let me tell you, that's a very good thing. I like our animals, especially the kittens. We have lots of chores to do, but we're used to working hard. They say, work on the farm is never done. And here's another thing I wouldn't change for the world. Our family has a baby now. My aunt came up to see me a week ago, and I just up and asked her if Dad killed my mom. She started to cry and said, No, no, is that what you thought? Your mom had a miscarriage. No one was there to help, and she died. So, now I know. Nobody killed her. We just had rotten luck last June when we lost the best mother in the world. So, I've found out some things I can change, and some things I can't. We all have to take the bad with the good. So here's my number four lesson. You can't change the wind. So I guess we'll see what happens next.